Hey guys, it's Cubition, and today I'm going to show you how to use ElmaMess's vocoder. Now, for those of you who don't know what a vocoder is, a vocoder is a special kind of effect that takes two different sounds, a carrier and a modulator, and combines them together to make a really cool sound. And I can't really explain it except for to show you. Basically, you take um, a, a carrier, which is this saw thing, and you apply a modulator, which is me talking in this case. Cubition. And it turns into this. Cubition. Now that doesn't sound super great because LMMS's vocoder isn't the most powerful thing out there, but it's free and it's included in LMMS, and so um, it's good to use, you know. So, um, yeah, so this is how you can get some of those talking bass uh, sounds. So, um, there's some tricky effects mixer routing magic going on here. Um, I'm going to have to show you how to do all that because vocoder won't work because it has to take both of these sounds and combine them. And, uh, and in order to do that, you have to send them both to the vocoder without sending them to the master so you can't hear the individual things. And they have to be panned completely opposite so that way vocoder can take two different things because one's at left and one's right because you can't really you can't tell between two and three it just kind of smashes them all together when it sends um anyway so i'll show you how to do that eh, so first i'm just gonna create a new thing and get rid of that so the triple oscillator um we're gonna use that for our carrier and this is going to be, well, we have to create these three ones. So the first one is going to be the vocoder. And then this one's going to be the carrier. And then this one's going to be the modulator. Um, now the carrier and the modulator, you're going to want to disable the send to the master, so you won't actually be able to hear this. And you can hear it because it's actually not on that. So you're going to want to put this to two because that's the carrier. And now it's making noise, but you can't hear it. Um, so I'm going to turn it back so you can hear it. And basically, we're really only going to use two oscillators here. Um, the first one is just going to be like a, a saw wave. You can detune it if you want. And I'm just going to do some stuff to make it whatever. Now we have kind of like a bass thing. But you'll see why later, but we're going to actually add some white noise into this, so. Now you can send that back to the carrier. Come on. Okay, then the modulator. Um, can I not send a sample track to an effects channel? Okay. Well, I don't really ever use sample tracks, so... <laughs> okay, fail on my part. Anyway, so I'm going to take that... Cubition. I'm going to take that. That was really loud. I'm going to take that down, like, negative 80 decibels. Um, then that is my modulator. And I'm going to send that to 3. So now... Um, the heck? This is a song editor. I didn't... What the... What the heck? Okay, so I have no idea what that was. LMS has never done that to me before, but this is a song editor. I don't know why I did that, but it just randomly was like, oh. Oh, I guess it's just a thing that happens when you're zoomed in a lot. I did not know that. I did not know that about LMS. He learns something new every day. Okay, so microphone do not fall. So um, the next thing is that so both of these are being sent to their corresponding channels. That one is supposed to be on two. So two and three. And so you can't hear either, even though they're both making noise. So they're both being, they, uh, they both need to be sent to the vocoder channel. So you're just gonna enable the send to that. So Cubation. now you can hear both of them and it doesn't really sound vocody at all. Um, uh, so what you're going to do is you're actually going to pan the carrier all the way to the right and the modulator all the way to the left. Cubation. <laughs> I 
Okay, so the reason this isn't working is because I don't even have the vocoder on here. So, so open up the vocoder for LMS, and now it will work. There we go. <laughs> I was like wondering why it wasn't working. Okay, so yeah, so you have to have vocoder on the vocoder channel, otherwise your vocoder won't work because it doesn't exist. So, um, as you can see here in the vocoder, there's a bunch of settings. Uh, you don't really need to worry about much of them. Number of bands. This determines the accuracy of how much it's going to sound like it's talking. If you have it all the way down to one, it's not going to sound super great. Eight sounds okay. And 16, uh, sometimes it sounds better. It really depends on what sample you're using. So I'm just going to keep mine at eight. Um, left and right, that's literally just panning. So if you're going to pan your vocoder, you don't need to add like an amplifier or something. You can just pan it right here. It's, it's literally just panning. So then these all these bands, whew, those are just kind of like an equalizer for your vocoder. Um, and so like, I guess I could go into the science of vocoders. But basically, a vocoder takes um, the, the, the modulator and it kind of splits both the carrier and the modulator into bands. It splits all the frequencies up into little chunks. And you can determine that amount of chunks right here. And uh, then it takes the modulator and the modulator's peaks or whatever um, change. It's kind of like a changing EQ for the carrier. And so it'll make it mimic what this anyway so basically you can take those bands and you can boost or cut them after the fact so that way you can remove certain things if it isn't sounding good or you can boost the high end sometimes it's helpful because this is kind of lacking a high end um, again with the white noise um, if you have no white noise uh, you'll have no consonants and so if you turn white noise up it uh, has sounds like shh, you know, um, uh, the ones that don't use actual, like, anyway. If you have it just white noise, it's going to sound like somebody's whispering. So, anyway. So that's, that's just kind of the science of a vocoder in a nutshell. Um, it's a lot more complicated than that, and most vocoders have, like, a lot more than 16 bands. I know Ableton's can go at least to 40, and uh, and uh, Vocodex for FL Studio can go up to like 100, and so those can sound ridiculously accurate, um, but those are paid. <laughs> you have to buy like, you have to buy like one of the better versions of Ableton to get their vocoder, and then Vocodex is like 100 bucks on its own, apart from FL Studio. So this one is free and it works great. But yeah, so yeah, there's, there's a vocoder for you, and I hope that's helpful, and remember to like and subscribe, keep requesting those tutorials, send them to my email, and I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.